Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make the fake milkshakes. Right here. Looks so cute and look really realistic. Now, what you're going to need for this project is your spackle, which is your crack filler, <clears throat> lightweight crack filler. Uh, you need glass or anything you want to use. Put them in. Uh, I need your craft paint. You're going to need some frosting tips. I have an uh, open star and just a regular round one. You need your fake cherries and a little bit of water, a little sponge here, and some wooden sticks and oh, straws. And that's what everything you need. So we'll get started. So originally <clears throat> I had made these. Um, I had just squeezed in all the spackle and packed it down. But I noticed I had made these little cracks would come through. You can see there that I didn't really like the looks of that. And there's one there you can see. So I wasn't sure if I was going to do this video, but I found out another way to do it. So I did this yesterday. As you can see, there's no cracks and looks awesome and it looks just so real. I know sometimes some people probably paint the inside of these and then put spackle or whatever they want, but um, I felt the spackle looked so real, so that's why I wanted to use that. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. First, I mixed up my crack filler with craft paint, any shade of pink that you want. Um, you know, I always use pink neon as one of my colors and I add usually yellow and, and a little bit of peach and white to the mixture, but you can use whatever shade you want. And also for the chocolate one, I use burnt umber. It's the only color I used into that. So once you have all your spackle mixed up, you're gonna put it in your cup. And what I did, I packed it down on the edges. I'll show you all the way. First I put it down on the bottom, right in there. You wanna just make sure and keep looking that you're getting it all in there. All right, good. So you're gonna press it against the glass and you're going to do a, a layer, a fairly thick layer throughout the whole glass. And then you're going to let it dry. So you're just going to kind of take your time and you're going to just kind of sneak, squish it in there. <clears throat> I know a lot of you were waiting for this video, so I'm glad I figured out a way to do this for you guys. It works and it looks so cute. So you're gonna go the whole way up. Of course, I'm doing this kind of fast. You want to kind of take your time, make sure that you get all the, get it all against there. And we're gonna go the whole way up like so. So it's gonna look hollow in the middle at first. And these will look really cute in your kitchen. There, we're slowly getting up there, so you'll get the idea. And just, and then you're going to want to look all the way around. Make sure you got it. Got no holes. And then you're gonna get to the top here. And it's a fairly thick layer that I put. Okay, so once you get to the top, you're just going to make it a little neater. You make it to about where you want your shape to end. Like that. So we got it all down in there and see it's hollow inside. And then you can just take one of your sticks and I've got some Q-tips as well and just kind of smooth it out to where you want it. Like so. And you're gonna wipe it. So you just kind of, you should take the Q-tip too and I just kind of wipe it around rub it around there. I'm not going to be too fussy right now because I just don't want to take forever doing this video. So uh, once you do that, I let it dry for a little while just to make sure that there was no cracks and you always want to keep uh, a mixture handy. Keep it for a few days in case there are cracks and you want to fill in anything. So it's good to keep, keep that around. Don't throw it out too soon. So we're going to pretend that this is dry and then what you're going to do is you're going to put uh, your crack filler 
fake milkshake into this tip, round tip, and you're just gonna squeeze it all in, all in there, like so, just like that. And then you're gonna take your little sponge here and you're gonna wet it, it has to be wet, and you're gonna pack it down like so. Just like that. See? And then you can take your Q-tip again and you can wipe it, wipe the inside here. Make it clean and neat looking, just like that. So I like to keep, I like to let this dry fully before I put the topping on, uh, just in case it shrinks or whatever, if I want to do any touch-ups on this part. So that's what I did. I just let that dry. So once you do that, you're going to have, oh, this is the, the one I made yesterday. So it dried really well like that on top. Uh, so I'm going to do a demo on this one then. I'll take this guy and this one's dry. It's pretty hard too came dries solid in there so you can take your other tip and this you're gonna be for your fake whip topping and you're just gonna go all the way inside this one has actually quite a bit of quite a bit of flour in this one so it's kind of tough coming out and that's another tip if your uh, spackle is too watery you can add flour and if it's too thick you just add a little water to it so once you do that, you just add your little cherry on top and then a straw and cut your straw and then you just put it here on the side and there you go. And that's how you make these fake uh, milkshakes. They're actually, it's pretty easy and they're pretty cute and uh, I think you'll have fun. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.